I remember when I had small children, um, my, uh, the spiritual director I had bef before, um, Ramakumar Swami, used to say to me, as a mother, your first obligation is to your children. You, if you're praying, you've got to get up, take care of your children. So I always did that. But other distractions, cars, you know, trucks beeping, whatever happens, you have to just let it go. Don't try to block things out, but just you, you come into this state where things, you just allow, allow things to be, and you keep your own kind of separateness from that. You may have already answered this question, but my question was, was in the direction of your relationship with your spiritual director, and maybe more broadly, if, if through that relationship you've come up with a kind of um, uh, sense. I mean, obviously it's a very personal relationship on the one hand, I assume, but, um, but if there's uh, you know, a way that you might uh, uh, put out to, to us uh, how we might look for the right kind of relationship with respect to spiritual direction. Does that make any sense? It's a hard one. I don't know how to tell you to find a spiritual director. I mean, that's a really hard one. Um, I prayed for years for a spiritual director. Maybe that's the best thing I can say is you just got to pray for one and, and hope one will be given to you in yeah. some way. Uh, Raman Kumar Swami was the most wonderful man. Um, I was with him for 18 years. And he went from being uh, the most erudite, sending me these packets of things with all the stuff about the name of Jesus and rosaries and all this stuff. And I, and I used to look at it and think, oh my gosh, because I had two young children at the time. How am I going to digest all this and do this? To, he went through the death of my daughter, I was with, and then the death of my husband, and then my son was his diabetes, and it got to the point where after 18 years I would call him and I would say, you know, this is what's happened now. And after a while, all he ever said to me was, there'd be this long silence, and he'd say, well, he said, you're just going to have to trust God. And by the end, that's all he ever said to me, because I don't think he, he didn't have anything. <laughs> there wasn't anything else he could say. But that's, that was everything. That, and that's what, that's what he would just counsel me. And in the end, he didn't ask me to trust him. He kept pointing me to trust God. And when he died, you know, I, I was able to, to let him go because he had pointed me towards trusting God.